Press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from Workspace. Well, first of all, you always can tell about a person from any work, any film they do. In this case, because it's a man, you know, about my age, who who's in a business, uh, the automobiles, which is like the movies, which has Detroit, which is like Hollywood, uh, there are many similarities, and, uh, and of course, you can see the film that way. Um, I find that all the films I work on always seem to be the way my life is at that time, you know? But I can understand that you would see similarities uh, to Tucker's story. And sometimes even me, I'm working on a film and I say, it's very strange, but this film I'm working on is just like what's happening to me now, you know? When I was working on The Godfather, I, you know, I was a young Italian-American guy of 27, 28 years old, and uh, I started to become more important, more powerful within my own family and uh, within my friends, and I was making favors for this friend or give this friend, and I was becoming like a godfather. In Apocalypse Now, I was in the Philippines, and I had all this responsibility, and I began to, to take the position that I could do anything I wanted, that there was no restraint, that there were no limits. And, and in other films, I find that there is this strange coincidence how very often what we're working about really becomes our life. Why was it so important for you to be independent? Well, I think, you know, you, you, uh, when you have a good idea and you're all excited to do it and you say, okay, tonight at 8 o'clock, everyone come, we start, you, you don't want to then have to go and talk to someone and say, please give us the money so we can start. You, you want to just start, you know. It's, I think uh, uh, the, uh, the treatment of money is so conservative, they want to be sure, will I talk to my lawyer, we'll see next week, that you, your enthusiasm just dies, you know. And uh, I like to, if we decide we want to do something, then we should do it right then, you know. And, and uh, let our enthusiasm uh, uh, take control and not our fear that oh, we'll lose money. And I find it's very difficult to convince other people of your own enthusiasm. So it's almost easier to make a lot of money so you can spend it quickly rather than have to go and ask rich people because rich people are most frightened of their money of all. You know, so I think independence just enables you to, to, to get on with your life, not, uh, not to always live waiting for, for something to happen in the future. And I have always been the kind of person, again, since I come from theater, that I'm used to big ensemble and, uh, and I like uh, life and vitality. So while I had the money to share and to do things, I did it. And when I had less, I didn't. And uh, uh, I think maybe, uh, you know, I didn't realize how things could get a little out of control. You know, I, I think of when the Beatles had uh, Apple Records, how they had these years, it was just people coming, going, money being spent, no one knew what was happening. It's very easy for that to happen to you because it's hard to keep track of everything you say. Oh, yes, you say yes. I like to say yes to everyone. And then I realize I've said yes to more people than I can really, than I can do it. Uh, I did lose my studio, which uh, I liked the studio. It was nice, and, uh, but I can't feel uh, in what way I failed. Uh, I mean, I have, I have uh, everything I had before. I have a lot of money, as I always have had. I have... Uh, uh, I now I don't have to do so many pictures that I don't, you know, I can spend more time to maybe uh, try to write something more ambitious. Uh, I know that the films we made, many of them were very successful. We brought lots of new talent, new actors, new directors uh, into the into the into the business. We uh, we made a lot of careers work. We we made a lot of technical innovations. So I feel. Uh, I feel that uh, so far it's been very interesting, and uh, you know, and uh, I think also we gained a lot of experience, which, you know, I'm not so old now that I can't uh, use this experience maybe even in a better way. I get very happy when uh, you discover, like if you're an inventor or a scientist, and you discover something, and you say, "Oh, this is great," and I like to right away to continue. I don't like it when. Uh, right away, lots of people come and they say, "Oh no, that isn't so." And uh, somehow, the uh, the the need to organize many people and to convince everyone and to make them enthusiastic, 
I find there's a lot of work. I like very much to write because you're alone. And uh, sometimes to edit is fun because you can be alone and you can take a piece of music and put it on. And you, you know, we are, live in a world in which everyone is so quick to criticize, so quick to say, no, that's no good, or is that no good, you know? I mean, everyone does it. I mean, if I tell an idea to my wife right away, she says, well, I don't know. And you know, who needs to be, have criticism? I would rather, whether I'm right or wrong isn't important to me. What's important is that I enjoy to follow an idea all the way through. And very often, if you're permitted to follow your idea all the way through, you find that it is right. You know, you find that your instinct is usually good. And so uh, I, I think we, I think entertainment and movies and art has been made too much like sports, where there's a winner and a loser. I think the press, really either wishes they were sports writers or are sports writers, you know. And they look, they look at things always from this point of view as who won, who lost. Art is not like that. Art, everyone wins with art, you know, because uh, you do something, it has life, you can enjoy it. That's all, you know, that's all that matters. It's not that uh, one is better or has a higher. That's what they do now with the grosses of the movies. They publish the money that each movie uh, makes as though it was the score from the Olympics, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's become a game. Uh, and also people, uh, people want to be, choose the right one, you know. You, they are embarrassed if they like a film. You, you see sometimes in a conversation people are talking about movies and someone says, uh, oh, I liked very much such and such a movie. And someone says, well, but that was a flop. It didn't make any money. And the person says, oh, well, I liked it, but maybe it wasn't anything. You know, we, we, have, to, we have to be uh, strong about what we like. You know, if I make a picture and you make a picture, this is my picture. And uh, if you, you like it, it's wonderful. But, but if you don't like it, it doesn't mean anything because uh, uh, you know, it didn't please you, but it was, uh, it doesn't mean that it didn't have something of value. I think, I think we have become uh, too much uh, technical in, in trying to give everything a rating, you know. I mean, it's not necessary. Uh, you know, having movies become such a popular, uh, not just movies, but about movies, mo magazines about movies, television shows about movies, people being interested in movies, movie star Hollywood, that I really have gotten sick of it. Uh, you know, I just have, uh, uh, I've had over, ex over <laughs> immersion in movies. When, when I was young and we were in college, we wanted to have a, a cinema club. We put an ad in the paper, cinema workshop, and you know, three people came. But today it's become uh, so, uh, so much, uh, so merchandised, and uh, so many people uh, uh, have made uh, uh, motion pictures uh, and cinema be more than just appreciation of it. It's a business. It's uh, even film critics now are celebrities and uh, and make millions of dollars a year uh, syndicating their program. So I reached a point where uh, I just became, you know how sometimes when you feel very personal towards something and then you see everyone uh, pursuing it, you know, you you you, re you need uh, maybe to get away from it a little bit. And so the last few years, I find uh, that I have really um, been more interested in reading, reading or riding or going to a, a horse race or a baseball game. You know, I think one lesson we have to learn is that we have to edit our time. Is uh, you know, you can't say ev yes to everything because. Uh, there are more things than there are hours in the day. So you have to try to say, well, you know, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Yes, I will do that. And since now, uh, I would, uh, I feel that many of those years in the past, uh, I should have been writing scripts for myself instead of, of doing so many different things and then having to take a script from someone else. So now I'm trying to create more free time for myself, also to have more fun for myself. To, to do the things I like to enjoy myself more because I think that's good too. I like I like my uh, uh, my age. I like uh, going into this. I think age at this point, uh, you know, is like a badge of honor. I feel uh, I like to be. I'm going to be 50 next year. I like uh, to be the wise man, you know, who can give advice. Who can be nice to young people. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm much happier in this age than I was when I was 20.